show that the point A, B and C are collinear. Okay, now let's try to understand the problem first and how we will be approaching it. Now let's say we have the point A, B and C in space. Then we're going to consider a point O, which is going to be the origin of some coordinate system. Next, we will join point O and point A with the help of a directed line segment. Now this is going to help us define the position vector of the point A. Now, uh, let's try to do that. So here we are given the coordinates of the point A, so that's 2, negative 1 and 3. So then that means the x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is negative 1 and the z coordinate is 3. And then we have the origin. The coordinates of the origin is simply going to be 0, 0, 0. Now, we can define OA vector here. Now to find out OA vector, what we'll do, we'll take the difference of the x coordinate first. So that's going to be 2 minus 0. Now to indicate that this is the x coordinate, we're going to multiply with the unit vector i cap to indicate that it's the uh, x coordinate along x axis. Add it to, next we'll take the difference of the y coordinate, so the y coordinate is negative 1, and from here we subtract the y coordinate of the origin, so that's 0. Multiply to j cap, indicating that it's along y direction. And then finally add it to the difference of the z coordinate, so we have 3 minus 0, and multiply it with k cap, indicating its direction along the z direction. This is going to give us 2i cap minus j cap plus 3k cap. So we have our vector OA. The OA vector is going to be 2i cap minus j cap plus 3k cap. Similarly, we can define the position vector of point B as well as point C. All we have to do is join O and B as well as O and C with the help of directed line segments. Now that means we can now define OB vector. The OB vector is going to be equals to 3i cap minus 5j cap plus k cap. And then we have OC vector. OC vector is going to be negative i cap plus 11j cap plus 9k cap. Fine. Now what we'll do, we will join point A and point B with the help of a directed line segment. In other words, we will try to compute the vector A. Now, the vector AB can be computed by taking the help of the position vectors of the endpoints and from here subtracting the position vector of the initial point. That means AB can be expressed as OB vector minus OA vector. The OB vector we have already found it as 3i cap minus 5j cap plus k cap. And from here we're going to subtract OA vector. So that's 2i cap minus j cap plus 3k cap. Now this is going to give us a 3i cap minus 2i cap. That's simply i cap. Negative 5j cap minus negative j cap means positive j cap. So we have negative 4j cap. Add it to k minus 3k cap. Now that means we have negative 2k cap. So this is our vector a, b. Let's label this as number 1. We're going to come back to this in a moment. And we are also going to find out the vector BC. So BC vector, BC means we are going to join in point B and point C with the directed line segment. Now BC in terms of the position vector will be OC vector minus OB vector. So here OC vector is negative I cap plus 11 J cap plus 9 K cap. And from here we are subtracting OB vector. The OB vector will be 3i cap minus 5j cap plus k cap. That's what it's going to give us. So negative i cap minus 3i cap, that's negative 4i cap. Then we have 11j cap minus negative 5j cap. So that's going to give us 16j cap. Then we have 9k cap minus k cap. So that's going to be positive 8k cap. However, what we can do, if we take negative 4 as the common vector, we have negative 4 multiplied to i cap minus uh, 4j cap minus 2k cap. So this is our vector b, c. However, if we look at, uh, let's call, call it uh, number 3, number 2. Now, if we look at uh, 1 and 2, so from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, we get 
that BC vector can be expressed as lambda times AB vector, where lambda is some scalar which has a value of negative 4. Now, whenever we get this particular criterion, this only tells us that the points A, B and C must be collinear. So, we have been successful in verifying that the point A, B and C, whose coordinates are given to us, are collinear in nature, hence proved.